Hey everybody, Jacob Scott, Lorance Product Expert. One of the questions we get with the hook reveal is, I don't have any sonar showing on my screen. I don't have any depth reading showing up on my screen. What is going on? I'm here to tell you the easiest way to fix that. As you can see, this unit just came up and it told us there's no transducer that's been detected. So it tells us to check the transducer, make sure it's plugged in so we can go, okay. So as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off now that I hit okay. Once this shuts down, all right, let's spin this around to the back. If you look at the back on this transducer, you'll notice there's multiple O-rings on here. And what happens when it says no sonar is your transducer is not plugged all the way in. If you notice this little hash line on the top of the transducer, when it's plugged in completely, this should almost touch the back of the unit. So let me put it in here. So now that I've got it pushed in there, as you can see, that line's almost all the way down in there and you can't see any of those O-rings on the outside. So now let's go ahead and turn this back on. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the enter button to accept. And I say close. So now you can see my screen still says stopped. You can see I do have a water temp though. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the power button and I'm gonna go down here. You can see stop sonar has the little orange box up here. I hit enter again to unstop the sonar. And now you can see our sonar is scrolling across the screen. We're showing a depth, we're showing water temp, we're showing supply voltage. So now that my transducer's plugged in completely, we're ready to go fish.